US Department of Labor reported 168,900 jobs as data analyst and they are predicting that this number is going to grow by 35% which means that data analytics is a job that is going to get more and more popular and it's not slowing down anytime soon. If you want to be successful as a data analyst in 2023 or beyond, you need mix of technical and people skills plus knowing what is going on in the field. So what does really data analysts do? They collect, clean and make sense of data to answer specific data question and a business question and make sense of data to solve problems. It's a six step process. Number one is define the business problem, collect the necessary data, explore the data visually, clean and prepare the data, use tools and methods to understand the data and make conclusion. And finally, present that data finding which you had to the stakeholders and to your business stakeholders. Now, the big question is, can anyone become a data analyst without any experience? answer to this is yes it is absolutely possible you can it is not all about fancy computer stuff and hardcore programming it's all about using numbers and thinking creatively logically and analytically to solve real problems so if you are into that you're logically good and good with numbers you are on the right track so how do you really become a great data analyst there are six steps to success and i'm going to break down each of them for you and this is the roadmap if you want to become a data analyst let's start with number one which is microsoft Microsoft Excel or Excel in general, Google spreadsheet will work too for data analysts. Like this is a powerful tool that helps data analysts to do their work. You can use it to make calculation, create charts and even predict things. Learning Excel is like a foundation. It is a must have. If you want to be a data analyst, you are going to use Excel and it is so underrated. People don't talk about it. But even if you're not going to become a data analyst, you might want to still learn because you're going to learn it like a, it's a real skill and it's a life skill that you're going to implement it in different areas of your life not just for your job number two is master sql for data extraction now sql is like excel not in terms of like uh, how it operates but in terms of foundation it's a backbone for data analyst if you are wanting to become data analyst excel and sql are going to be your best friend it can help you get the data you need and it is in a high demand for data analyst job you should know how to write queries create tables all of that stuff which you need to do for SQL. For example, if you're a data analyst working for an e-commerce website, you could use SQL to find how many customers bought a certain product in the last month. You can learn SQL for free on websites like Code Academy, Khan Academy, W3 Schools, etc. Again, I cannot emphasize enough SQL is very, very important. So these are the two things which you need to learn. Now, third one is learning Python for data analysts. There's a lot of speculation as to whether or not data analysts need Python. So some say they do, while some say they don't. Python is another essential language for any data analyst to learn. It is one of the most widely used programming language in the world of data analysts, and it is known for its simplicity, readability and versatility. In fact, I would say that it is one of the most easier language to pick up if you're starting with programming. Python has a vast array of libraries and tools that can make data analysis life much easier. For example, let's say you work for a weather company and you want to analyze temperature data over the past year. You can use Python to calculate the average temperature each month and create a line chart to show how it changed over time. And again, you can use Python to also do a lot of automation and like repetitive manual work using python now fourth one is data visualization while sql is a great for querying and manipulating data it can't fully make sense of the data this is where the data visualization tools comes in data visualization tools like power bi and tableau these tools allow you to transfer your data into like more insightful and easy to understand uh, that can be shared with your stakeholders so let's say you're working for a healthcare company and you want to see how many patients have recovered over time. A data visualization tool like Power BI can help you create a dynamic dashboard that doctors and managers can use to see the progress over time. The majority of the companies are looking for people with an experience in Tableau, Power BI, or ClickView. Again, these tools are really important to make sense of the data because as a data analyst, you understand the data, but you have to also explain it to your managers. And like, for example, if there's a five-step web website application form and people are dropping after third step you want to create a visualization using some form of chart which 
again this is where power bi comes in very handy because you have all the data and you can see like okay user were clicking here here here, here. this is the field where they drop off so now you know that this page web page has a problem and we need to fix the user experience at the, over there you might be wondering like how do i learn all of this actually there's a course online uh, by google uh, which is a data analytics course by google on coursera so you can learn everything from basics and they have cool projects which you can actually build those projects and use it as your portfolio and if those are like expensive for you there are probably a lot more courses available on udemy i'm going to put the list of courses in the description below so you can go and check it out uh, and, and another thing which i'll also add to the list which is in the description is the list of conferences and hackathons for data analysts because networking which comes down to my fifth point which is networking with other data analysts and developers keep up to date what's happening in the field of data analysis you can meet new people by attending industry events and joining online communities read to local meetups conferences or hackathons understand what they are doing what opportunities they have and this is where you will like start to feel motivated that you belong to certain field and industry like a lot of time i watch a lot of product management stuff i have subscribed to newsletters and i go to some of the webinar events and uh, conferences so same thing you can do for data analysis finally don't forget the soft skills soft skills is actually the secret sauce that makes you a great data analyst a lot of people just focus on the hard skills part of like data analysis like the programming language and the tool and all of that but they don't focus on the soft skills because you are going to be given a task like hey i need you to figure out this data but then you have to present that data so the soft skill is going to be key it is very very important to work on your communication skills so now good communication means that you can break it down in a way that they understand it's like a telling a story so you have to be a great storyteller who uses data to make a point and make sense like okay this is why things are happening and this is the problem so that's what this data means so essentially these are the things you need to become a data analyst to get an internship and full time job how will you like actually now start applying first is building projects like you have to create projects and find problems around you for example you can reach out to like youtubers and creators who have lots of data but they don't understand and they don't make sense like why did one thumbnail had a higher impression versus another thumbnail versus the watch time so there's so much things going on behind the scenes i don't understand but if someone can take the data and like help me understand the data that is a good project similarly there are probably other data projects available i know there are free website which has large amount of data sets for you you can take that there is actually a lead core again available for sql so start solving that as well and and the main point i'm trying to make over here is that learning the skills and putting it into practice so start working on projects that's number 1 number 2 is start going to hackathons it is really 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 important for you to go to the areas where you can actually exercise your skills which you are learning and put it into practice then start building a portfolio portfolio is nothing but a list of projects which you have worked on. whether it is an internship volunteer your personal project put them together into like a nice portfolio whether it's your own website either it's on github somewhere where you can show or you can create like multiple dashboards on power bi and you can show like this is this is the projects you have worked on and this is your portfolio now that you have worked on your portfolio and a project last thing that you want to work on is your resume and and your linkedin profile again linkedin profile is very 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 important so you want to start creating your personal brand as a data analyst on linkedin doesn't mean you have to start creating content or something but like have some form of online presence again resume like start putting things over down look at the job description see what are the keywords what are the companies looking for how can you demonstrate those skills into the projects which you have worked on into the portfolio you worked on maybe volunteered at startup or something how can you combine it so start working on building your resume and linkedin and start building your personal brand on that last but not least is that now that everything is that you have to start applying the jobs you can use like a lot of online platforms linkedin glassdoor indeed and start applying once you start getting interview calls you want to be cracking those interview calls and there are several videos i've made on how to crack it but i'll give you like a quick version of it you want to start practicing the mock interviews lead code as well where you can actually go and practice your lead code behavioral questions situational questions so you want to practice all of it you want to do mock interviews what maybe with your senior or your another friend of yours and ask 
just like just practice those answers have your stories ready for data analysis so that is the step you want to do so that you can start cracking the job offers all said and done you're probably wanting to how much money do data analysts really make well according to department of labor the median salary was hundred and three thousand dollars but i would say like the range is anywhere from sixty five thousand dollars to like hundred and twenty thousand dollars again depends on your experience and if you are a fresher you might go on a lower side depends on the city you are in there's so many factors involved but data analyst you can become then grow into data engineer data scientist and like sky's the limit again and data analyst is here and i hope that this roadmap helps you to start working on building your profile and portfolio become a data analyst and if you enjoyed this video i'll recommend you to watch these two podcasts these are mind blowing podcasts will help you understand even more depth how they from non background of data analyst mechanical engineer electrical engineer became data analyst there's any other role you might want to be interested let me know in the comment section as well i'll see you guys in the next one until then keep smiling and keep hustling you got awesome every single day